Vifa TV at vafatv.com. G'day folks, welcome to another edition of Vaffa TV. My name's Hammy Goodman. Now we all know it's been pretty wet in Melbourne this week and regular host Andrew Leonard, well, he's pretty keen to not get his hair wet. So I'll be filling in for him today. Without further ado, let's get straight into it with Mark and Goal of the Week. The BLK Mark of the Week brought to you by Vaffa TV. Mark A, Ed Turner, Hampton Rovers. Mark B, Anthony Lynch, St. Kevin's. Mark C, Hayden Hetter, Old Ivanhoe. VAFA Goal of the Year, brought to you by Vaffa TV. Goal A, Harrison Mills, Caulfield. Goal B, Thomas Cameron, Borman. David Feynman, Ajax. Goal D, Ari Luski, Ajax. Royal Brunei is the VAFA's international airline partner and this week they launched their new Dreamliner aircraft. Vaffa TV were on hand to check it all out. The VAFA's international airline partner Royal Brunei last week launched their new Boeing 787 Dreamliner service to and from Melbourne. As proud partners, the VAFA were invited to the launch at Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport. VAFA CEO Michael Sholley explained to Vaffa TV how the VAFA were delighted with the relationship with Royal Brunei and emphasised the strengthening of that relationship since the VAFA's 2013 tour to Ireland allowed the competition to experience firsthand the great Royal Brunei Airlines service to London. Hello. Thank you. At the conclusion of the formal ceremonies, including an official opening by Royal Brunei's High Commissioner to Australia, all attendees were invited to walk through the brand new plane. Royal Brunei's new Dreamliner service demonstrates the commitment the airline has made to Australia in providing a viable and stylish alternative for international travel to Asia, the Middle East and on to London and the rest of Europe. The Boeing 787 has a price tag of a cool 110 million US dollars and has all the latest equipment you could want as a passenger for an international flight. Best of all, the Royal Brunei Dreamliner has more legroom in economy than any other commercial airline. There's no doubt that during the tour of the Boeing 787, the cockpit was the most popular. Everyone pausing to make sure they got a photo of them piloting the plane. Why not? Go. Royal Brunei Airlines fly daily to London and all VAFA players, supporters and officials are entitled to a 5% discount when you call Royal Brunei to book your flight. Safe flying everyone. This year, Vaffa TV will be putting plenty of VAFA players through their paces as part of Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete. First cab off the rank was Riley Cooper from Hawthorne. How did he fare? 
Let's find out. The VAFA's ultimate athlete, thanks to Anytime Fitness. Feel something better at an Anytime Fitness gym near you. Our first competitor of 2014 is Riley Cooper from Hawthorne. Our first event is the agility run, where each competitor will get three goes of running a 10 metre agility course. The combined totals Go. over their three runs will be their total score. Let's see how Riley goes here. So his second run was the best run there for a grand total of 24.32. Yep. The next event is the chin-ups, and this is a simple one. Each athlete will have to just simply do as many chin-ups as they can before maxing out. So Riley's struggling now. Although he's found a bit more energy all of a sudden. This is looking like a good run. Let's see how many you can put in. And struggling, oh no, he's conked out there with a total of 16. Event three is the famous vertical jump from the AFL draft camp. Each athlete gets three attempts to do their best jump with their best jump taken as a percentage of their height. Riley's 54 centimetre jump is 30.51% of his height. Each athlete has been weighed and for the bench press they'll have to lift 75% of their weight until they max out. I think uh, this is a common test at AFL clubs and most athletes should be able to at least do one rep of their height as Riley goes through his repetitions here. We'll see how many he can get. Tipping the scales at 71 kilos, Riley is having to lift 53.25 kilos for a grand total there of seven reps. Last but not least, the dreaded row. We ran these off as a race between two, so we'll get to our old Campbell competitor next week. But uh, Riley here having to row 1,000 metres in the fastest possible time. Now, it is a long way to row 1,000 metres, so we won't show the whole event, but we will just show a few of the highlights of Riley's race here. And we'll see what he comes in with. Just in the final few metres now, as he comes towards the finish, it is a long way 1,000 metres on the row. And Riley has recorded a time here of, as we just wait to stop the clock, there it is. The clock stops at 3 minutes and 51 seconds for 1,000 metres. Let's have a chat to him. How'd you go today? Oh, not too good. Not too good? Straight on the rowing. Straight on the rowing? Yeah. Is the hardest one for you? Definitely. Yeah, and what did you enjoy the most? Uh, chin-ups. I think that's pretty fun. Pretty hard but rewarding. Join us next week as we continue the search for VAFA TVs and Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete. Well, that's all we've got time for on VAFA TV this week. Have a safe and enjoyable Easter break. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks. And remember, every day is a grand final. VAFA TV at VAFATV.com.